teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and it is Horror Edition Part Number 2. If you guys saw the first one, we had the It Clown. Pennywise the Clown invading the arena today, Brad. We have so many more. We have the full arena set up this time, guys. So we're going to take you guys through it right quick. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So I guess we can start out by the sold-out stage right here. We have Jason about to chop Matt Hardy right in freaking half, man. Look at his face right there. Totally terrified Matt Hardy on that table. About to get just destroyed by that machete of Jason right there. Got the Part 7 looking very, very nice. NECA made that, I'm pretty sure, and it looks so beautiful coming down. So Matt Hardy about to get eaten alive right there by that machete. If you come down the ramp right here, guys, if you remember in our last setup, we had Pennywise the Clown and Pennywise It Finn Balor staring off. But this time, guys, we have Freddy Krueger staring down with Freddy Krueger inspired Prince Devitt. So this time we have a little bit of a nod there. So they're going head to head. Which of them will win? Over here you can see this other Freddy pleading to the other Freddy because uh, Finn stole his uh, hand right there. So that's what that is right there. He yanked his hand off, cut his hand off, and now he has it. So now he's going to fight the other Freddy with it. So that is what we're looking at right there with that little Freddy duel going on right there. If we come around, you will see General George Washington, and he just chopped Jason square in the skull with that axe. As you guys know, the little folk tale where George Washington chopped down the cherry tree. Well, he's trying to chop down this cherry tree, and that cherry tree is Jason Voorhees' skull. So that's where he went chopping right there, and uh, he sees that it did not work. So I don't know what's left for George, but uh, he did chop Jason right in the head. If we come on down, we have another Jason, and uh, John Cena's getting the best of this Jason right here, guys. He's loaded him up for an attitude adjustment, you know what I'm saying, trying to defend himself. But uh, John Cena is not completely unafraid. He's yelling right there. He's he's totally afraid, but he, he's trying to fight through the fear right there with the hustle, loyalty, and respect. We go into the ring, guys. And we have this part two, Jason, with this pickaxe. And Enzo Amore about to get obliterated in the head right there. So that's what's going on here. Part two, Jason about to unload onto Enzo in the corner with his back turned. If we go into this corner, we have these Freddy Krueger demon little dogs right here from Dreams. And they're about to eat Jack Gallagher alive. Poor Jack Gallagher. So he's about to get eaten up by these poor dogs right there, guys. So they're about to destroy him. So he's scared in the corner, tucked away. If we go to the middle of the ring, we have Seth Rollins, and Seth Rollins has just been destroyed by this uh, chainsaw that Leatherface is carrying around. So you see the blood splatter splattering every single place on that apron right there, guys. So Seth Rollins, you can see the pain and agony on his face there as the chainsaw is ripping him to shreds. So Seth Rollins is, is getting destroyed right there. If you go just beyond that, you will see Pennywise, not with Finn Balor this time, guys. He's with the Fashion Police, and uh, I guess Tyler Breeze is like, is this okay, Dango? And uh, Dango's like, looks good to me, Breezy. So he's going to take the balloon, and he's, he's going to find out differently there that uh, Pennywise isn't playing around there. So, uh, yeah, they're about to get eaten alive by Pennywise. You got the Fashion Police in there. If we come to the back part of the arena, you'll see uh, the Beast Incarnate. We have Brock Lesnar. And he's telling these two Jasons to bring it on. He's about to just fight both of them. You know, he's ready to go. Uh, neither of these Jasons have weapons, so I think he feels pretty confident in himself. But uh, the Beast Incarnate will have to fight off two Jasons over there in the announce area. And then if we go all the way, that's pretty much it for the main arena. If we come to the backstage area... You will see we got Hulk Hogan, the MDT Battle Royal Champion. He is about to go one-on-one -on -one with Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head with that massive knife right there, that big old blade. Uh, that Figma figure is actually pretty trash, so I don't recommend it. But uh, Hulk Hogan about to smash up on Pyramid Head with his championship title on the line, I guess. We got Jason right here, and he just chopped off Rey Mysterio's head. I feel bad for Rey Mysterio. His head's not even inside. It just launched out of there, so he just smashed... Uh, that machete into the neck of Rey Mysterio and launched his head off. And then if we go back here, guys, we do have Braun Strowman with a pitchfork, and he's got that pitchfork, and he's about to fight off. So this is this is what I'm thinking right here. You got that TV screen back there, and you have all three video game looks of the horror characters right here. So I figured, I guess they came out of the TV screen. That would make the most sense, right? So they came out of the video game and the TV screen there. You got Jason, Freddy, and... Leatherface all about to go one-on-one, -on -one, or three-on-one, -on -one, I should say, with Braun Strowman, and all he's got is a pitchfork. Probably going to lose that fight right there. And then you have another 
uh, Friday the 13th, Jason right there, who got loose from the TV, but he doesn't know where he's going. So he's going through the curtain so that he can make his way down to the arena um, to, uh, you know, get involved in all this havoc that's going on down here. So that's pretty much it for the horror action figure WWE setup. Guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this setup. These are so much fun to do. I really, really do enjoy these. They're really fun to, you know, get creative with. You know, you can do a lot of cool shots with them and stuff. So, we have some more horror characters invading the arena today. I hope you guys did enjoy. But that's going to do it for this action figure setup, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Leave a like. Comment down below what your favorite part of the setup was. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.